Hello friends, and today I wanted to share a tip that I heard recently from Soda Pop about using vector trail brushes. So thanks Soda Pop for that. And I've shown previously in a video how to set up and use vector trail brushes, and you can find a link to that at the end of this video, so do stick around for that. And it's got lots of tips and examples in it, and it's especially useful if you find that in your scene it would be good to have a repeating pattern as a brush, so do check it out. But today's tip is specifically how you can use the browser panel to quickly create a vector trail brush on the fly. So I've set up this scene as a simple background just with a house, and I want to add some vines crawling up the side of the house. And as drawing these by hand would be a slow process, and the vine patterns would be moving it along a line, I thought I'd create a temporary vector trails brush for it. So, create a new vector level for this brush, and name it clearly, as this will be the name of the brush in the list. And the brushes are listed alphabetically, so I'll start it with an underscore, which will show it first and be easier to find when I restart. And then draw your brush images, which for me will be a number of leaf-like shapes. And I'll create a number of different frames of leaves, so the pattern won't be quite so repetitive. And once painted, hit save all, and that'll save your drawings as well as the scene and then go to your browser room, or open the window from the Windows menu, it's called File Browser, and browse to your Drawings folder in your project. Click it, and in the right hand side, right click on your drawing level and choose Copy. Then go to your Library folder, select the Custom Styles folder from the left hand side, and then right click in the right hand side and choose to paste. And this will paste a copy of your brush in the brushes folder. And then if you go back to a drawing room, and when you go to the Vector Brushes section, you'll see your new brush. So either paint on the same level as the house, or as I like to keep different parts of my drawing separate, I'll create a new level for them that I'll call Vines. And I'll hide the column that had the original Vine brush on it, and then select on the Vine column, select a new palette entry, choose our new Vector Brush, and just start painting. And don't forget that you're just drawing vector lines, and the images from your level are then placed in order along those lines. And don't forget you can adjust your spacing of the drawings along the lines using the Palette Entries Settings options. So with your Palette Entry selected, choose Settings, and then change the distance. So it's as easy as copy and paste to easily use a repeating pattern to use as a brush. So don't be afraid to create your own. And if you found this tip useful, you know what to do. And as I said at the start, here's a video with a more detailed description of how you can use these trails brushes. So go ahead, create your own brushes, and watch it speed up your workflow. And that's a guarantee.